Hello, welcome to Mini EM. This is how you measure intraocular pressure using a tono pen in the emergency department. First, numb your patient's eye by gently pulling down on their lower eyelid and placing one to two drops of either propericane or tetracaine onto the mucosal surface. Next, set your patient up so that there's something behind their head. It's pretty natural to lean away when someone's coming at your eye with something. So you need them to have a headrest, which can be a backstop. So put the tono pen cover on, squeeze the paper, and push the blue plastic bit all the way down until it clicks into place. You want to see these little pleats in the tono pen cover. That's how you know it's not on too tight or too loose. Take your tono pen and press the blue button on the top of the pen to turn it on. After a few seconds, it will beep and the light will turn green. You hold the pen just like a pencil. You don't have to hold it perfectly horizontal, which means you can do this on patients while they're supine. Have them fix their gaze on something and then tap gently against the patient's cornea right over the pupil. The tono pen will beep when you take a good measurement. Keep tapping in rapid succession until you hear one long beep, which means it's done measuring. Usually it takes somewhere between six and 10 measurements. The machine will take the average of all of your measurements and spit out a number on the left part of the screen here. This number on the right is a confidence interval for that average. You want a confidence interval that's 95% or above, so if it's lower than that, you need to retake your measurements. A normal intraocular pressure is somewhere between 10 and 20 millimeters of mercury. Anything higher than that is an elevated intraocular pressure. Sometimes you'll get an error message on the screen. If it says UR, ERR, that stands for under error. That means the intraocular pressure was under five, and it's probably a real error in measurement and means that you just need to fix your technique. If it reads OR, ERR, that stands for over error. That might actually mean that the measurement is so high that the machine can't calculate the intraocular pressure. If that's the case, you wanna consult an ophthalmologist ASAP because it means you probably have a very high pressure. You might get an error message when you turn on the tono pen for the first time. If it's telling you to calibrate it, just take out the user guide and follow the instructions there. It'll walk you through tilting the pen up and down to get it fully calibrated. We'll include a link to the tono pen user guide in our video description in case your department happens to lose their copy. All right, that's how to use the tono pen to measure intraocular pressure. Check out the rest of our mini EM library for some more eye education.